exploring my creativity. It's not a hobby for me, man. It's a way of life. The mystery of art, you know? You can't tell me why you like a Louis Armstrong solo. You're supposed to feel it. That's what intrigues me about this whole thing. I mean, what makes something engaging to look at? A sculpture, a painting, even listening to music. What is that element that you say, wow, that's good? Herb is very free, and he wants everybody to be free and to express themselves in the most honest way possible. I started around 1970. In the 60s, traveling around the world with the Tijuana Brass, I was going to museums, and I got kind of turned on when I saw you know, a black painting with a purple dot, and then a white painting with a black dot, you know, and I thought, hmm. Oh. Let me try some of that. And so I started sculpting just for my own pleasure, and that's pretty much the way I've approached it. It's something that comes from hopefully a deep place. It's authentic in me. I don't try to impress anyone. He's got over a thousand paintings. He's got hundreds of sculptures. He's a prolific artist. Sculptures are not only what you see, it has to be what you feel. It's not only the outside, the exterior of a piece, it's the interior. If the interior has energy, then I'm, I'm satisfied. It feels like I've created something that, that has, has a life of its own. Being an artist, the biggest challenge that you have is to be as honest as you could be. That takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of insight, and that's how he is, that's who he is. They're so beautiful, and they're so powerful, and they have a protective quality to them. I had the pleasure of working with Sam Cooke. He used to tell me, Herbie, he says, people are just listening to a cold piece of wax, man, it either makes it or it don't. When you think about it, there's only 12 notes that we're all playing, man. I mean, Mozart had those same 12 notes, and so did Thelonious Monk, you know what I mean? <laughs> These great musicians, they all had one thing in common. They were authentic. We're all looking for our, our own voice when we're, we're an artist, and you try to find your own way of doing it.